What's up, English 3 Online? So, oh, my hair looks crazy today. Oh, goodness. Okay, so anyway, I need to quit looking at myself. Yes, you are in um, crisis learning. So that's a terrible title, I think. But anyway, we're an online class, so we will proceed as normal, um, with the exception of one thing. I will give you um, access to me, which you always have access to me, but I will hold a Google Meet on Monday and Friday from 1 to 1.30, which is our scheduled class time in a crisis setting. Um, and I'll have it open the whole 30 minutes. So if you need me, um, that's a great time to get on and ask me questions. But um, you know I'm flexible. So if you need anything at all during the week, just message me um, or email me um, and I will be accessible to you. Okay, so let's talk about what we're doing this week. Okay, so last week you did, um, you completed your first question on your independent novel. You um, did your first excerpt in paired text, um, analyzing Fahrenheit 451, and then you did an ACT practice on no reading. And then I left you a note that said, if you haven't checked out your independent novel, do that ASAP. Hopefully you took care of that um, because um, you're at home now. So if you need a book, you'll have to find one on Overdrive, and I can give you access to that if you need it. Okay, so um, now remember mine is grayed out because this is, I'm recording this on the Friday before and um, they should, these should be dropped for you. Okay, they're scheduled to drop today, Monday, when not, which is when I hope you're viewing this at 7 a.m. The first thing you need to do is answer, we have another question this week about your independent novel. So it says, give a brief summary in one to two sentences of the logic for censoring material in your novel. Why are they censoring material? Why, what do they think they're protecting? And then in two to three sentences, detail how those examples of censorship may manifest themselves in our current culture. So, for example, in Fahrenheit 451, they burn books. And um, in our current culture, there are a lot of schools and maybe other countries that um, do not allow students to read certain books. Okay. So they're burning them in Fahrenheit 451, but we see that in another way um, in our society too with the banning of certain texts. Anyway, the next thing you have to do is, this is the bulk lesson for this week. Um, you have a video, it's short, it's seven minutes, you can watch it, and it reviews the process of argumentation. You should watch this and take notes. That's, as I, that's what I say here. I highly recommend you do not skip this step. It will show when you have to do your own argument. Taking notes is a great idea too, and then you can follow your notes when you write your argument assignments. Parlay. Please use these instructions attached for you to sign up for Parlay. Yes, it's another program. I know I just had you do No Red Ink. That, that's been kind of a disaster, so I don't know how much we're going to continue that, but um, which is not your fault. I have never used it, but Parlay will be good for us, so um, I want you to do, to do this right. So this goes through the steps. You must use this link um, and sign up with your Google. You must select sign in with Google. And then it walks you through how to do all of the things. And then it shows you, you know, all the aspects of your um, assignment there. Um, and then this is also the link to your assignment. Okay. Anyway. And then the next thing is you'll do another Fahrenheit 451 excerpt in paired text. Um, first, a passage from Fahrenheit 451 featuring Professor Faber, a figure who Montag turns to for help, understanding some of the books he has stolen. Faber, like Captain Beatty, has a strong influence over Montag's growth and struggle. Then you'll be reading an essay from New York Times writer Charles Blow on why reading to him truly is fundamental, and yes, it is. Answer the questions following the passages using quotes when necessary. Anyway, we're almost done. And then this is it. This will be your last post. This, this is what comes after Thanksgiving. And this rides us through um, the end until semester exams because the next week after December 11th, our semester does. So um, take care of yourself and um, get your work done. That's all part of taking care of yourself. If you get your work done, you're not as stressed later. And um, I'm here if you need me.
Bye, guys.